all right guys so in our previous video we saw how we can add these things to to do's list we added comments to to do's list we saw how we can use django template language i'll simply fire python manage.py run server and once i fire this command my development server will get started and before we go to our to do's list website i want you guys to access this django playlist if you haven't already done that i want you to bookmark this playlist and save this playlist this is going to be the place where i'll teach you entire django you can see i have started it from the very beginning and we are gradually going deeper into the concepts okay so what I'll do now is I'll open this development server and you can see that uh, I have this to do's list, add a task headline and then once again I can add any task and once I submit uh, it, it tells me that success your task has been added to the list and I can check this thing in Django admin that this has been added. So let's learn Django add any task has been added. But how can a user see the task? If you go to our tasks page, it is not complete at all. So to start with, what I'll do is I'll simply create a simple table. I'll say, okay, serial number, then task title and then task description. So let me come to this tasks template and I'll come to this table. I'll say number, then I'll say title, then simply I'll say description or rather let me call it task title and task description. I hope this is visible. I'll simply move it down and I'll collapse this as well. And you can see task description, I'll remove this handle. Now what I'll do is I'll simply say, okay, so these were our table headings. Now what we'll do is we'll add some table data. Okay, so let me remove all this dummy data from here. Control S to save and we have one, two, three columns. One of them is a rows. So this th scope is equal to row will actually make it look something like this. So it's basically saying that this is representing the entire row. So what I'll do is I'll keep it as it is. And what I'll do is I'll run a for loop. Let me write it here. I'll say run a for loop here. And what I'll do is I'll say you run a for loop and iterate through all the, and iterate through all the tasks. Now, where is our task? We don't have all the tasks fetched from the database. So we'll have to fetch all the tasks from the database. So what I'll do is I'll say this tasks, this function will say that, okay, all tasks is equal to, and I'll use this model, which is task. I'll say task dot objects, oops, objects dot all. This will fetch all the tasks from my task model okay so control s to save i'll say context is equal to uh, i'll say it's a dictionary and tasks is all tasks okay and i'll pass this context to my template so context control s to save now what i can do is i can reference this variable i can reference this tasks variable and it will contain all the tasks which is written by task.object.all so if i print all tasks let me show you if i print all tasks and if i run this thing if i reload this page you can see that i have all the tasks here so task this task this is a test title so all these things are returned by django in the form of a query set and you can use a for loop to iterate this query set okay so if i say that for item in query set i can iterate through all these items let me show you i'll say for item in all tasks and i'll say print item dot i think it was title let me check my model it was task title and then task dsc I'll say, let me print task title. Now if I reload this page, this function will get invoked and you can see it's showing me the title for all of these task objects, okay? Similarly, what I can do is I can make it task DESC and if I hit this endpoint now, I will see all the task descriptions being printed. You can see all the task descriptions are being printed. Similarly, I can use any of these model fields and I can print it inside my tasks function. Okay, but this is not what I want. I don't want to print my tasks. I don't want to iterate through my tasks here. What I actually want to do is I want to go to the template and show all the tasks there. 
in order to do that i will run this for loop i'll say okay so for now this is the magic of this extension that we installed i am getting this suggestion if i click this i'll say task then i'll press tab and then for task in tasks once again i'll press tab key and it will automatically take the cursor to the desired position press enter once again and let me fix this i miss a spell task and what you can do is you can move this thing you can cut this and move it inside or you can use your alt key and down arrow key to move this you can use alt and down arrow key inside of visual studio code to move a line so if you want to move a line like this you can do that or if you're using some other text editor like brackets or sublime or anything else i'm totally fine with that i have no problems whatsoever with people using sublime text or any text editor of their choice okay but in place of mark what i want to do is i want to say task dot uh, i think is it was task title if i'm not wrong yes it was task title and then i'll copy this thing i'll say in place of auto i want to print task desc and i'll remove this third one okay so in place of serial number i'll say for loop dot counter now for loop dot counter will actually print the counter 1 2 3 4 let me see how it looks so if i reload this page you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 this counter is being displayed so i can have the number the serial number of the item being iterated inside the for loop here in order to refer this i just have to write for loop dot counter and then task title is here i can display it here and then task description is here so if i keep on adding my tasks it will keep on uh, iterating the tasks variable and i'll see all my tasks on this page okay now one thing is bothering me a bit which is the padding above and below this so what i'll do is i'll come to my template i'll say hey class is text center totally fine i want to add some padding here and it would be great if it's py3 i need some space and i think this looks perfect at this point so here is the list of your task this doesn't look professional at all you can change this you can change this to all tasks or you can say to do's list all tasks so this is the place where you will use all the tasks let's run django add any task everything is being displayed here i think our app is almost complete now now there is a lot of revamp work that you can do and you can make it a whole lot beautiful you can add a lot of javascript on this page and you can simply say whenever somebody types this uh, this can get filtered there are just endless possibilities to the amount of customization that you can bring it to this to do's list app but at this point i would like to tell you that this is almost complete let's see if we add a new task whether it gets showed in our tasks page or not so if i say this is the best title i'll simply say this is the best title and i'll say this is the best description submit it tells me your your task has been added to the list let me see if it shows up here this is the best title this is the best description it it is being shown okay now there are a lot of variations of to do's list app you can simply uh, create an actions button here an actions column and inside the column you can add a uh, delete and update all sort of those actions and you can use javascript and view of the django endpoints to delete this row or say update this row or there are whole lot of things that you can do like searching and you can also do some sort of uh, rearrangement or something like submit this form can be dragged to this location so there are a lot of things i i mean to say that there are a lot of customization possible inside this app but the good news is that we have covered all the django specific stuff that was required by to do's list in fact if not all most of the django specific stuff has been covered so at this point if you haven't liked this video guys please like this video and at the same time if you haven't already accessed this playlist make sure to hit this uh, bookmark button and bookmark this playlist and if you can save this playlist it would be great for you you'll have this playlist available 
and thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time